Hello everybody, this is Maurizio Martignano from Spazio IT and in this short tutorial we're going to see the integration between Java and a code quality platform like SonarCube. Code quality platforms like SonarCube are usually web applications that takes in input uh, the analysis results provided by the static analyzers and the sources under analysis and then they integrate them and they show them in a single user interface where you can look at the issues and the problems found from within the source code itself. So usually we have two steps. First of all the static analyzer start and run and analyze the sources and produce the analysis results. Then what is called the sonar analysis starts and this sonar cube analysis takes the outputs produced by the static analyzers together with the sources and integrate those two things into the sonar cube database for later uh, examination uh, of the problems found, of the issues and things like that. In the case of languages like C and C++, the static analyzers have to be started manually or by some third-party application. So basically they are started independently from the sonar cube analysis. So once they have finished, once they have produced their results, those results can be integrated by the sonar cube analysis. On the contrary, in the case of Java, it is the sonar cube analysis itself that launches automatically the Java static analyzers that in turn they produce the analysis results, which then are taken again by the sonar cube analysis and integrated together with the sources into the sonar cube database. So again, in C and C++, you need some external entity like the XA facilitator that launches the static analyzers. On the contrary, in the case of Java, the static analyzers are launched are called automatically by the sonar cube analysis. The difference we have seen in terms of workflows holds true also in terms of configuration files. In the case of C and C++, the configuration files that drive the static analyzers are produced by some external entity, either manually by the user or by some tool, like in our case by the sub facilitator. On the contrary, in the case of Java, the configuration files used by the Java static analyzers are automatically produced by the Java build tools, and in particular by two Java build tools, by Gradle and by Maven. So, the sub facilitator has a lot of work to do for C and C++, but basically, for Java, the sub-facilitator has not much to do. Uh, in fact, the sub-facilitator only shows how to activate integrations that already exist, the integration provided by Gradle and the integration provided by Maven. You can find information about SonarCube and Gradle on this page by googling Sonar Scanner. Sonar Cube and Gradle, and you can find information about Sonar Cube, Sonar Scanner, and Maven just by googling Sonar Cube and Maven. And in these two pages, you'll find the required information necessary to activate the integration between Java and Sonar Cube. If you look at the sub facilitator in the case of Java, the tool offers two cheat sheets, one for Gradle and one for Maven. The cheat sheet provides two different pieces of information. First of all, how to 
uh, activate the integration between the build tool like Gradle or Maven and secondly how to launch the sonar cube analysis so integration first and how to run the analysis second we can clear the log and we can examine the cheat sheet for Maven providing basically the same information the two pieces of information we have the integration part how to activate the integration between a Maven and a Sonar Cube, and secondly, how to run the uh, Sonar analysis. In order to show how to work with Java as two simple Java projects, uh, we have taken basically an example which is a classic programming principle is called the inversion of control which is part of the dependency injection pattern or say design uh, paradigm it's a programming principle and it's kind of interesting to to see this um, inversion of control at work so in the root directory of the ISVV user in the save toolset there are two directories and these are the two uh, inversion of control examples one prepare for Gradle and the other prepare for Maven here you can see we have IOC Gradle and we have IOC Maven now let's concentrate on the Gradle example there are two configuration files which are important one is called build.gradle so we have a look at it now as you can see it's a very short file this file is created automatically by NetBeans in the save tool set we also have Apache NetBeans and it is Apache NetBeans 11.1 .1. now the first part from the beginning up to the JUnit dependency uh, this is a kind of standard thing that is provided by um, NetBeans. The bit of information, the piece of information required to activate the integration between Gradle and SonarCube is the other one, is this second part that starts from build script and uh, ends with apply plugin org SonarCube. This piece of information is also contained, of course, in the sub facilitator cheat sheet. In case we need to specify some particular uh, attributes information for SonarCube itself, we can use the gradle.properties file, where basically we can use this kind of structure. We have to use system prop at the very beginning to uh, mark to Gradle that this is not uh, its information for the system and then we can start with the classic sonar cube sonar dot whatever uh, dot uh, notation and that specifies things properties which are read by sonar cube so having added this information to the Gradle configuration files to the Gradle projects configuration files we can go in the project base directory in the home directory of the project which is IOC Gradle and from here we can start the sonar cube analysis so we just do Gradle and then sonar cube as simple as this so we launch it and then we have to wait a bit after some minutes the sonar cube analysis has uh, finished and uh, this analysis is also called the static analyzer so uh, we can look at the results of the integration from within the sonar cube interface and basically the address, the standard address is localhost colon 9000 and uh, here we can see uh, the project and uh, just done by now basically we can see the time and we can go back to the project and uh, we can look at the issues 
and see which type of issues we have eventually here we go here we can see the type of issues uh, the type of problems that have been found problems with convention with style with bad practices we have a cert uh, standard kind of uh, issues then we have comments and so on so basically we managed to launch the uh, java static analyzers from uh, within the sonar cube analysis just by issuing a very simple command that is uh, gradle sonar cube so now we're going to see exactly the same with maven In the case of Maven, the activation information is not added to a particular project file, but it is put in a particular file in some particular places, either in the Maven tool, uh, say, home directory, or in the user's home. So we follow the second step. We add some information in the user's home. So we go here, we go into the user's home, and then uh, here, we go into the specific subdirectory of Maven, which is called .m2, so cd m2, here. And here we create a file which is called settings.xml. So we do vi settings.xml. We go into insert mode. We take the sub facilitator. Um, we take the sub facilitator. We take the example provided by the tool, which is the setting thing in XML. We copy. We go inside here this window, and we do a paste basically. And here we have the proper file. Uh, we check that everything is okay. So it seems correct. So basically we save it. And we can uh, check the, uh, sorry, we, we can check the project inside Apache. So we close the IOC Gradle and we open here the IOC Maven and uh, yeah this is the standard POM XML so the standard things the standard configuration of a Maven based project so uh, we can close these files they are not important and if you want to explore the sources and the same is also true of course for the Gradle based project you can go here and look at the Java code which has been provided so here you can have all the uh, basically the main the client and then the various services and you can have a look at the basically inversion of control so this is the main for instance and things like that but we are not interested to this we are just interested in the integration between maven and uh, sonar cube so now if we go back to uh, the sub facilitator the sub facilitator tells us also how to call basically um, the um, sonar cube from within the maven tool so here we have maven sonar sonar as thing that we have to use to call uh, the sonar cube integration so We go to the home directory, we go into the IOC Maven, and here we do a standard build like Maven, clean, install, we disable the tests, so we do minus, uppercase D, skip, tests, equals true, and then sonar, sonar and again we wait a 
as you can see the sonar cube analysis has uh, finished and as you can see also maven provides you with more information about what's happening in the background so the process seems a bit less magic than uh, it was kind of uh, with Grado but basically this very same things happened basically the sonar cube analysis started the Java static analyzers the static analyzers produced some results and these analysis results uh, were taken by the sonar cube analysis integrated with the source code and uh, inserted added to the sonar cube database so exactly the same so now we can see the results from within again the sonar cube user interface so here we can see that now we have two projects one is called ioc gradle and it was the previous project this is the ioc maven now Apart from the, say, names of the packages in the sources, the two projects in terms of source code are exactly the same. And it is interesting to notice that uh, the smells, the count of smell is different in the two projects. We have 100 in the case of Maven and only 98 in the case of I, the, sorry, we have 100 in the case of Maven and only 98 in the case of Gradle. So I believe that this is because probably the interface, the integration between Maven and uh, SonarCube is a bit more mature, is a bit better than the one we have at the moment with the IOC Gradle. Of course, we can go uh, also inside this project and check the various issues and uh, yeah and the provided information but this is not the point of this tutorial the last bit of information that we need to cover is that the sub facilitator not only provides information about say how to uh, run the normal analysis but it also provides some information about how to run in tests and how to integrate the results of this text into sonar cube and uh, this information is provided for both uh, maven and gradle in this case for instance here you can see how to get uh, the test how to run the test and how to get the coverage you see how, how to run the test and how to get the coverage information and this concludes this um, tutorial Thank you very much for your patience and uh, uh, just contact me if you have any question on SonarCube and uh, its integration with Java. Again, thank you very much. Bye bye.